Hi, my name is Vikrant Narang. I'm your astro buddy at Pi Matrix. At Pi Matrix, our motto is sky is not the limit. Congratulations on buying our Neo telescope. To all you budding astronomers, that means you are so excited about astronomy that you've got this telescope and I'm so excited to today be sharing with you about its features and particularly to get you started in using this telescope. Particularly you will find something which distinguishes our telescope from others is that we are providing a 1.25 inch barrel size eyepieces which is typically larger than what is typically provided for this telescope and these are superior eyepieces. This is telescope is a refractor telescope. This means that it has a lens. So I've removed the dust cap and you can see here is the lens of the telescope. And this particular part is where we keep our eye and the eyepiece. Now this lens is a achromat lens. That means it is free of chromatic abrasion. That means it minimizes chromatic abrasion. So this particular lens, lens will avoid breaking down the colors of the light into its constituents. It comes with two eyepieces, 20 mm and 6 mm. And now these, the focal length of this telescope is 360 millimeters. And this gives you a magnification of 18 X with this 20 mm eyepiece and a magnification of 60 times with 6 mm eyepiece. The first eyepiece you should start with is 20 mm eyepiece as it's a lower magnification eyepiece so it will be very easy for you to use as you use this telescope for the first time we will recommend using uh, it in the daytime first to just get comfortable now this telescope is also coming with a celestial event calendar 2025 so it contains a listing of important events and there is an instruction manual provided with it as well and it comes with a very cool carrying case so you can put it if you're traveling you can always carry this telescope as it's a very compact one now to start you will need a tabletop that means this is a tabletop tripod provided with it the tripod is important as it keeps the telescope from shaking you can't hold telescope in hand and observe do you see this focusing system these knobs help the telescope focus so to use the telescope first eyepiece is the 20 mm eyepiece and it's a lower magnification eyepiece i will remove this cap now and put this eyepiece into its place now remember i told you to use it in the daytime first try to see a distant building only and after that you can uh, move to night sky particularly when the moon is there in the sky you can observe with moon as it's the easiest target. It's the most simplest target in the night sky. You have to unlock this knob. It, this is the knob which helps the telescope move in altitude and azimuth. It's an alt as mount. So the brightest object, as I said, the easiest one is moon. So I have the moon in that direction in my sky and I will point this telescope by looking at it from the top so I have to align it, so I'll close one eye. I will make sure that this moon is in this line. Not only that, so that means that I have to turn the telescope left and right and stand behind it in such a way that moon is exactly in the front. Okay, that's the first step. Then I can look through from the side as well and then turn it upwards until I see moon going right in the line while I'm keeping one eye closed. So I again will ascertain whether the moon is in this line as well as this line. That will ensure that moon is rightly aligned for this axis and this axis. Only when that happens and I gently look at it. You might take, so like what you will find is the brightness of the moon will light up this and then you can nudge it it might take you a few seconds to find the moon inside the circle which you see here. So please don't be discouraged if it takes you a few seconds. With some practice you will be able to get the moon right there. So the first step to do is focus it to get a crystal clear sharp image. It should be a crisp image not an out of focused one. So 
while rotating this you will get it you can take it all the way down and you can take it move inside so to get an idea of how the moon is looking so you have to center the moon by moving it now once that is done you can enjoy the view of the moon now to increase the magnification you can use this particular eyepiece so the first eyepiece you should use is the lower magnification one so it will be easy as many people say that they are not able to find the moon that's probably because they have accidentally put this particular eyepiece in the first place so when to use it only once you have centered the moon okay so first i use this centered the moon so right now i put the 20 mm back just to make the point again so i've centered the moon now lock this so moon is centered now carefully remove it without touching the telescope insert this eyepiece now the moon will be so much magnified 60 times now i can comfortably observe it wow what a beautiful sight so that's how you will use your telescope